Well, hello, it's time for Sea Store Secrets in my car again, um, my office. Today I want to talk to you about three things, three concepts, three items that have to be present in every food service, deli, kitchen, program, whatever you want to call it, in order for you to have success. And these three things, throughout the, the states that I travel in the country, the people who are having the most success, the most success, have these three things. There are a lot of food service uh, programs out there that are doing okay. You know, they're doing five to eight hundred dollars, you know, making decent money, uh, but they're missing one of these three things at least every single time. And I want to try and get this in real quick. I won't talk too long about them, but it's very, very simple. The first thing and the most important thing, especially in your customer's mind, is cleanliness. Now, cleanliness doesn't just involve wiping down everything, cleaning the glass, just those little things that are done every day and they should be done every day. Cleanliness involves even the details that you may not think about that go back to food safety. Cleanliness involves when your deli worker also has to run and help on the register, they take their gloves off when they go to the register and when they come back, they put a new pair on. I was actually in a, uh, a branded establishment the other day and ordered a hot green tea. And I watched the, uh, the cashier who just took my cash, because I paid with cash, go get the cup, go get the tea bag, on his way back to the counter to get the hot water because it was up there by the cash register for my tea he um, touched his bare hand on my tea bag why would you do that stuff like that 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 puts a bad connotation in your customer's mind and I'll tell you what will happen I may or may not ever give that location another chance I may or may not say something to that cashier or that employee but what will happen in, I would say, almost 99% of the cases is that customer won't be back because that shows that as a company, you're probably not talking about food safety and cleanliness. That's what I mean by cleanliness. I mean every aspect of it, every aspect. When I talk about cleanliness, I also mean talking about filtering your oil. I talk about cleaning off your griddle. You know, you talk about, you know, any form of cleaning has to be present. And I know it's hard with labor, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I know it's hard, but as a business, if you want to hire good people, you have to create the right culture. And part of creating the right culture so that your workers will enhance your business and not hinder it is to make sure you create a customer service environment, a customer service culture so that even your employees are focused on serving the customer. And that service goes to cleanliness. Uh, something that I talk about with cleaning restrooms and things of that nature. You have to put yourself in the customer's shoes and say, would I want the employees at this location cleaning the restrooms, picking everything up so that when I come in, it's nice. So cleanliness is number one. It has to be there. Everything has to be clean. Those systems have to be in place. They have to be doing those things. The second thing is labor. You have to have enough labor. When you get short on labor, that's when you have a deli worker go to the register wearing their gloves, cash somebody out, touch the buttons, even if they use a debit card or credit card, and then they go back to the deli and they never change gloves, ever. These little mistakes like this can cost you more business than a change of gloves every time. Because you look at return business, you look at return business. That establishment that I went to that touched my tea bag, they just lost a seven to eight dollar ring every time I go in that location. I'm not going back. Me being me, me being C Store Secrets, I will probably go back and give them another chance, pay attention, see what they do. If they touch my tea bag again, I'm going to say something. I'm gonna say, hey, look. You've been touching my money you just put your bare hand on my tea bag i think you need to give me another one that's not food safe um and, and you know i'm not not trying to be rude and i'll tell them that i'll be like look 
food safety is very important, especially during this COVID time. You need to make sure that you don't touch stuff. What if, what if you're sick and now you've touched your bare hand on my tea bag? So labor is important. You gotta make sure you have enough people. And I've told this story in some other videos, I'll tell it again. I've been to an establishment where we sold a program in and they cut labor, they, they, they cut product, they cut everything and cut it down to minimal and then you had one person trying to run a, food, a full two food service programs and the register and watch the gas pumps and stock and make coffee and do all these things. They weren't selling any, any product. So I go in, me and, and one of my coworkers, we stand behind their kiosk. We sell more product in a couple hours because we're standing there and we're energetic, we're excited, we're telling the customers, hey, here's what we got, come get it. And we, met, we sold more product in a couple hours than they had sold in the last month. Okay, labor is important. If you want to succeed, you have to put labor in place. And I could talk all day about labor. A lot of times that C-stores aren't getting the labor that they want is it could come back to they aren't a good place to work. That's number one. If you want to eliminate your employee issues, you have to become a good place to work. Um, but labor's key. You've got to have enough people. You know, I, I think personally, and I will run my C-store when I get it on a minimum, minimum of two people. I'm gonna need somebody work in the deli and I'm gonna need somebody work in the register, especially during peak times and I can work that scheduling out. Um, you just gotta be smart with your scheduling. Um, but but labor's number two. And the third, the third thing and the final thing is the right equipment. You know, having cleanliness and having labor is, is big, but having the right equipment will actually help your cleanliness and it helps your labor. It's almost like a circle of life in the food service and deli category within the C-Store. If you have all three of those things, you have what you need to succeed in food service. When I was talking earlier in cleanliness about filtering, you know, I see way too many C-Stores that are buying these cheap fryers and this mobile filtration unit that sometimes costs as much as the fryer. And don't get me wrong, you know, we, we have customers that use those too, but thinking about labor, thinking about human um, habits, and you know, people by nature, especially just average people, by nature are lazy. And so if you want to have those people working for you, because you kind of have to in some cases, in order to make your food service program as close to perfect as possible, you have to make everything as easy as possible. And so when you add that step in there of that mobile filtration unit, they have to go get it, they have to plug it up, they have to do all these things, you're adding labor into your, um, into your business that's gonna take lazy people, and eventually they're gonna see that as, man, I gotta go get that filtration system. We're talking about something that may take a minute, two minutes. I gotta go get that, I gotta plug it up, I gotta do that, I gotta do that. When, when, you, when you buy a fryer with a built-in mobile filtration system, all you do is hit buttons, turn levers. It makes it a lot easier, and in your employee's mind, they're not gonna shy away from it because it's easy. Same thing with sifting breading. Um, you know, the company that I work for, we sell a auto-sift breading table. You know, sifting is a manual thing that takes time. When you get the auto-sift, you just push the breading into a hole, you hit a button, it does all the work on its own. All you gotta do is bring the good breading up, dump the, dump the stuff that needs to go away. Simple. So, a little more expensive a machine, but it'll pay for itself very quickly, and it'll pay for itself easily on your bottom line in labor. Um, those are the three things that are, that are evident in food service, and when I get food service going in the C-Store that I purchase, all three of those things are going to be my focus. And that all comes back to customer service focused. If I focus on my customers and, and making their life easier, all these little pieces of the puzzle within the C-Store, I can justify, verify, and implement 
all these strategies to make my customer's life easier as they come into my business. It's that simple. Those three things have to be present. And one of the biggest hurdles you may have to get over is in your mind, you may have to shift your focus to thinking more about the customer. Because I will tell you, there are a lot of C stores out there that want to sell product and they want to do well and I want them to do well, but they don't truly, truly care about customer service, about the customer experience, about what the customer is going to think and feel when they come into the business. Those are the most important things. So if you're watching this video and you want the quick summary here, if you jump to the end or something, cleanliness, labor, and equipment. Those are the most important thing. And you gotta get the right equipment. And I'm actually getting ready to do a webinar really soon and I'm gonna go through what it takes to have the right equipment and what that right equipment looks like. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're getting up near the 12 minute mark, 11 minute mark. So I just wanted to share that quick thought with you today. This is one of my longer videos. I appreciate you. Um, if you want to succeed in the C-Store industry, uh, I've wrote a book. I'm an author book is c-store secrets you can grab a copy at c-storesecretsbook.com um, that book is going to cover seven things that have to be present in every single c-store and those are broad things you know like this video is about specifically food service um, the, the that the book is going to cover almost every category everything you can think of that has to be evident and these seven things there are a vast majority of C-stores not doing these seven things. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you've got some from this video, got some ideas. As always, I have a free Facebook group, uh, uh, C-Store Secrets public group on Facebook. You're welcome to join. I'll try to put the link in the uh, description under the video. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.